Microsoft Loop is now available in Outlook. Now you can loop people into the live collaborative canvas using email. This experience is available in Outlook web app and the new Outlook desktop client. Embed a canvas for ideas, projects, notes, and more right within an email message. Send the email to people across your organization and lower the barriers to starting and continuing collaboration. Invite more people to contribute or limit people in the loop until the ideas are ready to share widely. Here's how it works. Loop components work using the cloud, so use them in Outlook. Open the Outlook web app in your browser, or the new Outlook desktop client, currently in preview. Create a new message. Add your recipients and a subject. At launch, loops can only be emailed to contacts within your organization, but we expect that to change over time. The subject will be used as the name of the loop component. Type your email message. Remember to let the reader know about the loop in your email, what it is for, and how you want them to contribute. Add a loop component to the email. Choose the component that suits your collaborative needs. The loop component appears. It is named the same as your subject of your email. This is useful when you want to find the loop file later in your OneDrive. You can give the loop a title on the page. The title can be different to the loop file name. Add some content to the loop to get the collaboration off to a good start. Add more components if required. Then sign off the email and send it. As the email and the loop are sent, your name will be added to the CC recipient. This makes it easier to find the email with the loop, so you can continue to collaborate within it. Remember, loops are files just like an Office document is a file. Loops created in Outlook will store the loop file in your OneDrive within the Attachments folder. When you receive an email that includes a loop, you can see the live collaborative canvas embedded in the email message. A recipient can read the email message and simply start collaborating by clicking into the loop and contributing content. You can reply to an email at any time to continue the conversation about the collaboration in the loop. When you reply, the loop will continue to be live and up to date. Replies won't contain the loop components in the reply message. As a conversation thread grows with more replies, the loop will be in the conversation thread within the email where it was added. So here's a tip. Copy the loop link and add it to a reply if you want to discuss the content and prompt people to keep contributing. If you want to loop more people into the conversation and collaboration, you can forward the email. When forwarding emails with a loop, the loop is shared with the new person receiving the forwarded email. When someone is mentioned in a loop component, they receive an email notification. The notification message includes the loop components and opens to show where they were mentioned so they can contribute. With Microsoft Loop Components, Outlook email becomes another place to simply start collaborating. The live embedded canvas lowers barriers to contributing, and Outlook provides new ways to hold conversation alongside Loop collaboration. How will you use Loop in an Outlook email?